Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Family Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Wake up to your own altar daily. I have asked every one of us to establish an altar in our room or house. It is not putting an image or a, put a picture in the corner, bind down to it. Oh no, not at all. Your prayer altar could just be kneeling beside your bed, lining on your bed face down, or even on your carpet, or sitting on a chair, or kneeling beside it, or if you have an extra or another room, or a space for it. Very good. And if it is a family devotion where the family meet together early in the morning to pray, is the altar. Listen to turning point. Say amen to the prayers and engage whatever prophetic faith action we may be led to take for the day. They work wonders. Then read the day's portion of turning point prayer booklet, also authored by me, which is published monthly, available both in hard and soft copies. If you subscribe, it will be sent to your phone for daily engagement. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so now. Welcome also to Tuesday, the fifteenth day in October. Mm. We are right in the middle of the month. God shall put you in the middle of a major breakthrough. So open your hand and heart to receive what God has sent our way today and be responding with Amen. I receive it. Enjoy goodness, mercy, and kindness shall follow you all throughout this week. Your life shall be turned into a magnet, drawing good and godly things to you. Where you were rejected and disappointed last time, you shall be invited back and be given. You shall be treated with respect, honor, and dignity. What am I seeing? In the spirit, I see a word. A word. 37 people listening to me now. I see you receiving an award. I see you being honored with a plaque, letter, money, and precious gift. It could be you or any of your close persons like your sons and daughters. Anyone listening to me today that has not found a testimony worthy change in the last three months or more, nothing really to testify about in your life apart from thank God for the salvation of my soul, for protection and daily provision of food and so on. Thank God for all those, but it should be more. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, Seek ye forth the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all other things shall be added. All other things. All other things include promotion, new status, gaining height, good money, getting married, conception and carrying your babies. It includes passing your exams, securing your visa, your work permit, indefinite stay, your green card or citizenship. It includes getting healed or from strange diseases. It includes open doors, help and assistance, precious gift and divine remembrance. All other things in the Bible includes your dream house, your dream car, sweet anointing. Oh yes, it includes healthy body, happy homes, wonderful children, enlargement, expansion, joy and fulfillment. Anyone that has not received any of the things I have been mentioning, even the one I didn't mention for some time now, no testimony worthy breakthrough. God has sent me to you today. Open your hand and let me pray. I prophesy, your miracle rains start falling now. Such as you are trusting God for, start happening for you now. May your miracle doors start opening in all directions in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody do this. Write three most crucial miracles you desire. Three most crucial blessings or breakthrough for yourself or for your loved ones. And please send it as a WhatsApp message to your line manager. For me, it will get to me. And if or anyhow, you also know my direct WhatsApp number, send it there. You too will pray over it. Then I will pray over it for you. Miracles will happen. Your major testimonies will start now. Say amen and amen. October 15th celebrant, receive your birthday prayers. You are blessed. Your new age is blessed. You will live to your good old age of 120 years in good health, prosperity, and power. Say Amen. 
happy birthday. Right? Let's go into personal, intensive, and passionate prayers, which we started yesterday. First scripture for prayer today. Please pray it with energy. Psalm 108, verse 13. Reading from NLT version. With God's help, we will do mighty things. For he will trample down our foes. Pray it like this. It is a prophetic prayer. Prophesy into your life. Say, by God's help, I shall do mighty things. I will achieve my boggling breakthroughs. This is my day and my week of mighty things. My children will do mighty things. My husband or my wife shall do mighty things. I shall trample down my enemies under my foot. Open mouth, open your mouth and declare mighty things to your life. Oh God, do mighty things in my life. Open difficult doors. Touch heart of people that must help and assist me. Let the table turn in my favor. Let the equation change in my support. In Jesus' name, say amen. I receive it. Yes, it shall be so. This is your season of mighty things. Your seasons of testimonies. Next, let's go to 1 Kings chapter 6 verse 5. And it reads, But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water. And he cried and said, Master, for it was borrowed. Wow, borrowed axe head fell into water. Let's pray it like this. Pray it well. Pray it with zeal. Say, O oh Lord my God, restore back to me every good thing that has fallen out of my hand. My axe head, flow back to me my missing valuables, my lost opportunities, my falling prayer lines. Come back to me in full. I receive my spiritual strength back. I receive my health back. I receive my good sleep back. I shall not borrow to live. I shall be a lender. I shall not beg for anything. All that I need to meet all my needs, come to me now. Come for me now. In Jesus' name, say amen. Yes, your axe head shall flow back to you again. Angels in form of men and men in form of angels shall come to your aid. Say amen. Next scripture for prayers is from Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. And it reads, Behold, I have set before you an open door, and no man can shut it. Let's pray it like this. Pray with passion. It is prayers for yourself. Say, I prophesy to my open doors. Remain widely open. Be continuously open before me for easy passage, for abundant resources, for access to higher levels, access to financial and material prosperity, and access to the presence of God Almighty. My open doors shall not be shut again. All closed doors, contrary to my desire, start opening for me now. In Jesus' name, say amen, I receive it. Yes, your God's open doors shall remain widely open. Let's take one more from Revelation chapter 5, verse 5. And one of the elders said to me, Weep not. Wow. Let's pray with that. Say, prophesy and say, In Jesus' name, I shall have no cause to weep again in life. All my tears dry up. Laughters replace tears in my life. In Jesus' name, say amen. Yes. The rest of your life, I prophesy, shall be all smiles, laughter, dancing, rejoicing, and celebration. Say amen. I receive it three times. Yes, we shall do more tomorrow. Please forward this to your contact. Let your children, your family members, and all of your contact also be receiving this and be praying these powerful prayers. Do so daily. Yesterday, I call on all sincere, committed, and devoted TPGF members and Living Spring members and all listeners to subscribe to our YouTube platform. Have you done so? Please do so today. We want to grow our YouTube to at least 500,000 this season. Join us. It is easy. Go to your YouTube and type at the real family Emmanuel together in small letters. The word real is R-E-A-L at the real family Emmanuel. Tap your subscribe button and turn on notification. Encourage on on your contact. 
to do the same. I will speak blessings to your life as soon as I see you on our YouTube page, as soon as I see your name and your face. Please do so. You will be blessed. Let's reach the whole world together for God Almighty. Tomorrow, October 16, is the National and International Ministers Conference have been announcing. It's holding tomorrow at Living Spring Chapel, Goshen Land, Allen Avenue, Ikeja, Lagos, at that interchange from 10 a.m. tomorrow. It is for all ministers in God's own divine yard, all general overseers, bishops, apostles, resident pastors, parish pastors, independent ministry, all ministers, elders in churches, deacons and deaconesses, everyone in leadership position is interdenominational, is intertribal. It is for you. Iron sharpens iron. Come and know other people in ministry. Come and network together. People are coming from all over the world, all over the country. Don't miss it. Ministering along with me tomorrow is the general overseer of the First World Gospel Church, Nigeria. God serve and Reverend Sam Aboyeji, a father in the body of Christ. Uh, please come. Air conditioner, coastal buses will be arranged for all ministers coming from Ogo State, taking off from Abelkuta tomorrow morning. But you need to send an SMS or a chat to secure a seat in that bus. Send an SMS or a chat to 0802-779-6376. All ministers from Oyo State, the coastal buses will be taking off from about early morning tomorrow to return you after the conference from Abelkuta to Ikeja and Ibadan to Ikeja. It's not less than 90 minutes. You also need to secure a seat. Send an SMS or a chat from Ibadan. 0806-928-6662. Do so now. Ministers of God in and around Lagos. For more information and direction to Geshe Land, send an SMS or a chat to 090-555-4460. Do so. You will need to pay a token, but it is okay. Pay your tithe and sow your seed for the commission's account and the PayPal detail. For those of us sending our tithe and seed in dollars, in euros, in Canadian dollars, please uh, send a chat or please send me the commission's account and the PayPal detail to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand for the HSBC account. For our UK brethren doing their own in Pan Stalin, send an SMS or a chat to 074-111-28401 for the HSBC account detail. I prophesy to everyone's life today, the power of God is on you. You will be overwhelmed with favor, with grace, with power, with divine connection in Jesus' name. What God cannot do does not exist, for God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a wonderful day.